your hair. That's White Rabbit. That just came on Sirius. And before that, I had another channel playing, and it was Destiny's Child, Say My Name, Libra. Say my name, say my name. If no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. You ain't running game. Okay. You don't have time for the games, Libra. Uh-uh. They're going to publicly declare their love for you, or it's nothing. It's all or nothing. That's right. That's the word on the street about Libra. Libra does not accept less. It's all or nothing. And there goes something or something about following that white rabbit, Libra. Alice in Wonderland, The Matrix. Oh, the days of our lives. We're starting with the tarot, of course. Okay, I'm hearing top card, top card. The Emperor. Whoa. The Sphinx. Wow. One of the most powerful cards in the deck is your energy, Libra. Talk about ancient knowledge. And talk about being uh, protected. Ancient DNA. Do you know who you are? Do you know where you come from? Who you come from? So many of you have this ancient lineage, this royal bloodline. Bottom of the deck. Anubis. Wow. Anubis is here with the Sphinx, Libra. This is the King of Wands. Let's see what's behind it. The Seven of Pentacles and Temperance. Okay. There is an Aries Emperor and there is a Sagittarius King of Wands. in your energy. Why? What about this Sagittarius and what about this uh, Aries around Libra? The Ace of Pentacles with the Hermit, the Yeti at the bottom. This Ace of Pentacles is the Mandragora plant. It's a very magical plant. You know, I was, I just started watching The Witcher on Netflix and it's so good. And, um, just a little bit off subject about this plant. It is said that it screams if you try to pull it up by its roots. And, uh, one of the young witches in The Witcher, her scream was so powerful. It, it just halted attacks, halted attackers like froze them just from the screen. And speaking of being frozen, as I said that, the Yeti. What? The Hermit with the Ace of Pentacles. These masculine energies are wondering what you've been up to in your Hermit mode. And how you plan on using your gifts moving into the future. Something about your knowledge, what you have learned, okay? The Yeti. Look up the spiritual symbolism of the Sphinx if you would like to and write it in the comments for me. 
And also the Yeti, the Sphinx and the Yeti, spiritual symbolism. The shaman, the shaman. This is the five of pentacles. With the knight of pentacles, the warrior. You refuse to go down, Libra, period, without a fight, but you're not going to have to fight. You have spiritual warriors fighting on your behalf. But listen, you come from, again, this medicine man, medicine woman background. Just like I was channeled the other day, witch doctor. Witch doctor is a shaman. So many of the Librans I read for... were shamans, medicine women and men in your past lives, sought after, I keep hearing that, very sought after, that's why you, their first card out is the emperor, you come from this powerful lineage, you are this powerful person, and you're sought after by powerful people, and I'm hearing Tupac, that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Oh, you stepped into your power, Libra, and things will never be the same. I have chills. The three of wands. The brownie. The little house elf. With the seven of cups. The Loch Ness monster. Nessie. Oh my gosh, listen, this is taking me like to Alice in Wonderland. It, it's this magic. You are tapped into magic, okay, and mystery. Magic and mystery. And with this Three of Wands... This is all about, see how pretty and clean and shiny the kitchen is? And the kitchen is like the heart of the home. Some of you may need to organize some cabinets, some drawers. Get to, um, see how he's shining the dishes and stuff? Making your house a home is what I'm hearing to the best of your abilities so you're most comfortable here because that will be the space in which you create someone may try to be luring you away from your home we have the page of cups at the bottom looks like pan he has some alcohol down here Someone could drink dark. Something about grapes, red wine, grape wine. I know wine is made from grapes, but it's purple wine. It's not even red, it's purple. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. What's the word on the street about Libra? Messages for Libra? What an interesting read thus far. Let's see what else would like to come out of the tarot. Oh man. The devil. And I saw him in reverse. You called out something, some type of obsession. You defending yourself or calling out some type of obsession here blocked a demon. You have cut off access. This says the devil, demon. 
within this card coming out in reverse, I really feel like, honestly, you've cleansed your energy of some demonic presence. This could have been a monitoring spirit sent towards you. Wow, with another demon, an imp, the hanged man at the bottom. You got t double demon cards. But this demon is hanging over this like pot of boiling water. Wow, you got somebody in hot water, Libra. By cutting cords or removing cords of attachment. Keeping yourself and your energy cleansed. Or again, defending yourself, calling something out here. There's an end to an obsession. And now this demonic energy has to return to the sender. Or be punished. Or the person that sent this demon is going to be punished. Yes, Hydra. Wow, with the Eight of Wands. It's like the eight-headed dragon. With the golem at the bottom. This is confirmation. This is my spirit guide card in this deck. This is your spiritual friend. Your guide coming through. Like, oh, we're going to take care of those that little demon. We're going to take care of the devil for you. No worries. Wow, look at the golem though coming through like who said what, who did what, who sent what to Libra? Uh-uh. Nope. Let's get a message from the planets about what the word on the street is. Just two planet cards, please. What's the word on the street about Libra? Ooh. Mars. What goes with Mars? What goes with Mars? Then we're going to pull a few Zodiac cards. Who's talking about you? Who's discussing you? with Uranus. Okay, Mars and Uranus says, you know what is right for you, but that may not be right for everyone. Do not override those who walk a different path. Hmm. I think there's some people that may feel intimidated or may feel like you're judging them, Libra. I feel like once they get to know you a little bit more, they'll realize that that's not the case. We're very loving, Venus, in reality. We just don't stand for being effed with. <laughs> All right, who's talking about Libra? And then I gotta go. I gotta go, Libra. Thank you for joining me for your word on the street this Wednesday. Okay, Libra, you got some other Libras in your energy or a little gossipy, gossipy about you or simply admiring you. Oh, yeah, I wanna sneeze. Mm hmm. Okay. A Leo. Leo is gossiping about you or admiring you. And then we have a Virgo. Virgo gossiping about you or admiring you at this time. Honorable mention, we have a Cancer at the bottom. Give this reading a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed Libra, stay balanced, stay blessed. Until next time, everybody. Peace.